Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing The Expanse. This is season three, episode nine, and it is titled Intransigence, which is actually a word we had to look up because uh, we hadn't seen it before. Um, but wow, the way the last one ended, that was such a fucking cliffhanger with, with them trying to get away from everybody who wants to shoot them down, the Rossi crew, that is, and by going, going, through the by going through the fucking ring or the mass relay, as we've been calling it. <laughs> and what the hell is going to happen now? We are so excited to get into this, you know, last part of season three, because all of you have just been telling us it's going to be nonstop, just what the fuck moments and awesomeness from here on. So are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, you had something to say. I'm just too eager to get into this. <laughs> if I seem a little bit um, weird in this area, part of my mouth, it's because I've been to the dentist today. Um, so I'm very high on painkillers and, <laughs> and, and the so, analgesia is kind of worn off, but I can still feel a little bit of uh, numbness. numbness in yeah. this area. So if I have a weird crooked smile that's even weirder than usual, then you yeah, know yeah. why. If she turns into to, uh, sliced alone, then you'll know why, what's yeah. going on. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into it. Show us what happened. <laughs> you know, we had to do it. If we hadn't, the Indus would if have- If you've killed them. Take me later, work now. She's in such a difficult position here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Excuse me, what? Well, what's this now? We're inside the... Hold on a second. You're saying that yep. if things go too fast around here, something gets nervous and grabs them? <laughs> that ain't natural. No. I don't see any stars. This reminds me of Eros. That's a comforting thought. Nope. <laughs> It's not even heading towards us anymore. Where's it going? It's heading here. And Miller didn't mention it. Miller? <laughs> explain that one. I don't want to get into anyone's firing range until we can explain that that message was fake. The message came from here. Okay, do we have any thoughts on how that happened? Other than in Um, I think Amos might have a thought. Come on, Amos. Put... Make sure yep. I didn't know it was anything weird. Hey, hey, we got something coming through the ring. It's backing out. That's it? How would I? Something else is coming through. Looks like the shoe sent. We keep going. <laughs> Go the fucking deeper. Torpedoes won't work any better than the last one. You were gonna tell me everything I need to know to unfuck this ship. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what I... No, but you show them. Mm. Yeah, go talk to Miller again. Did you know his name was Joe Miller? No, I don't think so. I, I never talk think we me. got his first name. Or did we? Let's... Miller! I'm sure you'll have a lovely time. You don't plan to join us? That would be telling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm? What is going on with this whole thing here? Oh, she's got some beautiful not shoulders. For your permission. You are not going to humiliate hey. this family. This is not. Oh, she's a mouse. We'll pick up next year once your uh, sister comes to her senses. Mm -hmm. I could take over for her. Don't be absurd. Okay, so we got some background information on her, finally. Now it makes a little bit more sense, but <laughs> still confused about who she's working for. Will this help you fix the comms? Damn, if I know, that's a Naomi thing. Yeah, I knew you were Damn. gonna say that. I'll take it from here. <laughs> you did this, so you're gonna have to answer I kn I knew he was gonna, gonna do something this like that. Once, and then I'm gonna kill her. <gasps> no. Answer me! Oh, he's trying again. That other probe. It's not going through the ring. It's heading towards the bubble. Oh, trying to go on the other side of the ring to see. 
Oh. Lost that second probe. It's gone. Well, we should probably keep away from the edges then. Yeah, that's a good safety tip. <clears throat> we turn and the MCRN catches us and uh, we go straight and we're gonna reach the other side of that bubble. We have until then to figure out another option. Dark. <laughs> Guilt is like salt. You put a little on and it hides all the bitterness. I don't know what you're on about. I miss my old crew too. You left your old crew for a reason. I left the OPA long before I left the Rossi. And now you're back here with us and we need you here. He's a real interesting guy. Especially because, you know, he's, he's not stupid and he knows what to say a lot of the time and yeah. It's just very well written, this whole thing overall. <laughs> No, uh, no Miller. Nope, not yet. Miller! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Miller! You, you hey, can't Miss. do this! Hey, Miller, stop! You can't do stop! Bad. You can't face now! Yes, I can. This ain't gonna help anything! Help us! He's crazy! You better button up. The only way to communicate is in person. And Mars isn't looking to arrest them for stealing a ship, oh. so... Oh! You too. Put your lid on. I was just gonna send the camera guy, but with the back suit gloves on, you know how when he... I mean, the man's blind. Mm. So, he... Hey, wait! Did them a service by... Make sure you tell them we didn't blow up the Seng Yun. Tell them what really happened, please! I'm not sure they want to help you now that... Mm. Exactly. I get what you're going for here, Amos. It's just the the whole threatening them to do what you want approach is... Mm. It's the only miracle that's happened in my lifetime. Aww. And changes everything. And to be so close and then just turn away, it seems wrong. You want to indulge in a selfish desire to be a part of something amazing. Yeah. <laughs> What about your family, though? Mm. Yeah, you did the saving humanity from itself. Do you even know how condescending you are? Well, you're such a narcissist. She's a narcissist. Do not walk away from me. Don't you dare turn your back on me. I am through being humiliated by you. My father is a damaged man. You're never going to be good. The truth hurts. Mm -hmm. This whole connection, like her being a Mao, that makes that just made the I mean, it so much more interesting to me, at least more intriguing. I just hate her even more. Oh yeah, yeah, that too. But at least there's a connection oh, yeah. now to something we know. Our only hope is that Monica and Cohen put in a good word yeah, for us. Um, I wouldn't really count on that. Alex thinks I was too hard on them. So what are we gonna do? Surrender. Slow down, let them board us. We'll see we were sabotaged and we'll clear our names. I didn't think it'd end like this. I have a feeling that's not what's going to happen. No. But, but it, it does seem like the only outcome we can. Are they going in? Seems like it. She's gonna jump ship. One would think so, right? This is your captain. And this is your ship. You may think that you're scared, but you're not. Okay. That isn't fear. That's your sharpness. No one has more right to this. No more prepared. This moment belongs to us. How's Earth and Mars feeling about this? I'm gonna lose my place. <laughs> Your face isn't there. I found a way for us to stay. Just don't ask too many questions because it's... Excuse me, ma'am. Hmm? I saw 
sign up to fight dusters and skinnies. Not whatever the hell that thing is. You're a Marine, for God's sake. You saw what happened to the army gas. Do you feel safe? I'm not going through that thing. Get him out of here. Sorry for the disturbance. Hey, safe travel. What's wrong? He does not want to be here. There are rules. I, I can't. I thought you wanted to see it for yourself. To come so close to be turned away. I can't. You're frightened. Mm-hmm. Me too. I have family. My son is 11. I can't risk him growing up without a father. I was wrong before. God is not with us out here. And I won't hear your voice uh, until I'm back. And uh, I, w I will be back. Mm. Uh oh. What made you decide to stay? She reminds me what it's like to be young. She has passion. She spat in her face. She has the will to take our name into the future. She refuses to be stopped, even by me. <laughs> what do you do? You plan parties. <laughs> That man, Jules Pierre, he did so much fucking damage to mm -hmm. his family and an extension to the fucking galaxy, and it's just... Everything you feared about the proto-molecule has come to pass. And instead of being hailed as a visionary, you're rotting away in jail. I can't fix it, but I can destroy the man who brought you low. Wow, it's a revenge it's plot. Julie never could. Whoa. And never would. She's going for Holden, all right? Yeah, she's totally misguided. Fuck. So they made it through. Mm-hmm. Okay. So hopefully she's going to make her way to the Rossi and then... Mm. No, because he saw her. Yeah. I thought Ashva was being paranoid. The belt is in your blood. We are your people. And I love you, but you're going back to them. Or in us. I didn't understand why I was leaving. And without even a word to me. I was afraid you wouldn't let me go. She's gonna let her go. Wow. Please, no repercussions, please. You underestimate me. Don't go too fast out there. Are you afraid for uh both of them? Yeah. What was that? Batch from the Canterbury. What are you slowing down for? You were doing fine. Oh <gasps> where the hell have you been? <laughs> Come on. We're gonna get to the crime scene. We're gonna check out the clues. No, no more crime stories. You wanna talk about the non-local quantum hologram? The phase cons, you get adaptive waves resonating in microtubules in the brain. This sure. Of course requires some close timeline curves and a you catch up. I'll wait. Let's have a crime scene. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Come on, to the station, to the nucleus. You seem different. All right. Signal's pretty good inside the ring. Mm. It's, uh, it's really good. I'm so happy to have Miller back, even yeah, if it's I'm not. So, I'm so happy I'm we crying. We don't have him back, like, really, but he's just him being there and seeing them together again. Oh, it's it's okay. great. It's Naomi. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Ah! <laughs> Rosie, do you copy? Guys, it's me. They don't have yeah. the comms aren't working. Just make your way there and yes, they can really use your help. Yeah, they can really, really use your help. That's the hole the king. Oh, and that's where they're going. That's the station, that's the nucleus. Yeah, that's what Miller called him. Kinda looks like a nucleus. What? Oh, wait, what? He took off alone? You didn't Holden, oh. the fuck? 
Ah, oh, okay. That's why they need Naomi, so they can get a communication link, uplink with him. Yeah. Shit. I want to watch the next one. <laughs> so that was episode nine of season three. And uh, real quick, we're just um, we're in a bit of a hurry, so we're not going to be talking for too long um, this time around. Uh, but let's just um, get into at least some of what happened in this episode, because man, uh, it was. We were so fucking curious about, you know, just how the last one ended and with them going through the ring and how that was going to look. And we got a lot of it in this one and even more ships going through. Uh, yeah, it was not how I expected at all. I don't know what you what did you expect when they went through the ring, like how it was going to that they would go through to the other side. Um... Yeah, they did that. But it's just how it how the like what was on the other side that was not kind of what i was expecting i no. thought it was going to be kind of like a portal to another side of the of the galaxy um of the universe but it it's more like it's created a bubble a room or like a space mm. just like it as yeah. if you have like those with, uh when you um blow a bubble with like i don't know what it's called but Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like you know, with you, you, soap, soapy bubble yeah, water. Yeah, you have I don't know you what have the 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 thing. The ring that the you... ring that you blow the bubble out of, and the ring on. So it it's, it it's, it is expanding like this, but it still has the opening here. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the. That's very, very, very good description. Actually, I think it it really it could it seems like it's working like that. Besides, you can't really see the bubble. Like from no. like if you're just looking at the ring at the hole, um, but as soon as you go in, then it's obvious that it's a bubble and there are sides. And we confirmed that you can't touch the sides because then you will get blinked out of existence, apparently. Um, yeah, so yeah. possibly this could be like a wormhole, uh, pol not like a pole, not, not like a, it has, mm. but I mean... Yeah, so it because you it's cannot not... see it on the other side of the ring, right? So it no. must be created in like some other dimension or in some other. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, plane of existence. I, I, I don't know. And and the rules are different in there. Like you can move, but you can't move too fast. Otherwise, it's gonna grab you and stop you. Uh, and the thing that's really, as far as we know, controlling this whole thing is what. Miller wanted to go investigate at the end. And what did he call it? Uh, the nucleus. The nucleus. That we need to go there. Um, and it kind of looked to, like a nucleus in a cell. Yeah, yeah. Really. Okay. So, um, so, yeah, it could be working like that, maybe. It's just on a grand scale. Um, I don't know. But he's, he's going there. Um, alone. Alone. Or, you know, with Miller, I'm sure. <laughs> but he didn't tell the others, it seems. And no. Why not? Is maybe he's fearing that they will that something's gonna happen to them? Yeah, or perhaps because they should be able to trust each other now. Like I think they've they've come a long way in you know trusting each other and telling each other what's going on. But now Holden, all of a sudden, he reverted and but yeah, it's only Holden that has been um. In contact with Miller, Miller that, that's so, true. So, so maybe it's because the the whatever this thing is actually targeted him specifically, because it trusts him. Trusts yeah, him more. only wants him to find out and doesn't want the others to follow. Yeah, maybe. perhaps they can um, screw around with screw the, it up in a way. Yeah, yeah, and too many decisions to make or yeah. uh, too rash decisions even. Um, mm, perhaps right. it's easier to convince one person and especially one person that is um, has a power of to convince other people as well because we know that uh, Holden is definitely able to convince people. About, yeah, yeah, he, about he is stuff. the leader type and in, in, in we've established that. And yeah. So yeah, that that might very well be it. Uh, might very well be the reason why. Um, yeah, and then uh, besides that, the Rossi crew or Amos pretty much uh, ejected the other two people from the ship. Yeah. In a very 
threatening way and and i'm i don't know if that was the best um you know approach to this whole thing i i i get i can see the reasoning behind it and i can see why it might be a good idea why it be a good shot um to get like because they can't really do anything else it seems like um but yeah i would they be... might not might not comply with him now they might not um yeah it doesn't seem do like they they were like oh yeah we're very much willing to help you and and like talk on your guys's behalf now mm -hmm. <laughs> it did not seem like that at all so that's going to be interesting when when and if they get back to a ship and mm -hmm. can can talk to some people uh and i'm still kind of convinced that the i can't remember his name but the the camera guy the blind guy that he knew what he was doing more than he led on or the people that he's working for and stuff uh mm -hmm. and and we got into that a little bit more with the with the whole mao thing yeah we find out she's a mao yeah and and that she has a very uh difficult relationship with her father just as julie had so he's mm -hmm. just doing a bang up job um raising his his daughters <laughs> and wreaking havoc on the on the fucking galaxy or the 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 system um so is she doing this on her own just as a i want to make it up to you dad or is there someone else behind the scenes yeah. who, who kind of roped her into it with the promise of your dad will be proud of you if you do this or yeah so that's the question yeah because mm. we know she's doing it to uh get revenge on holden because he locked him mao up yeah, and she definitely sees her father as some sort of genius and like a almost like a a world savior or whatever. Yeah, like someone and, who's not being appreciated, like a genius who's not being appreciated, and yeah, that type. Yeah. Mm. So she's definitely not happy about that, and maybe kind of brainwashed as well. And I think maybe that's what they had this conversation about uh, her and Julie, mm. where Julie was like, "He's an evil man," and you can't see how much he's damaged and mm. you will never be good enough for him. And I think, of course, that drove her in the wrong um, direction because she was like, I have to show you that I'm good enough for my father. And mm. uh, so that that's apparently her drive, I'd say. Um, but Julie was also kind of out of, his, out of the brainwashing thing with... She found finally saw her father as what he is. Yes. And yeah, so, so yeah, we know apparently why she's doing it, but we don't know whether she's, uh, as you said, if she's the main sole uh, responsible person or mm. if there's somebody uh, pulling her strings, maybe Mao himself, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. We, so, we were wondering about that in, in a, a, another earlier reaction um whether or not mao he was still doing stuff active and same with aaron Wright. and um yeah. i guess maybe we'll f we'll find out uh, but that's at least very intriguing to see yeah. what's what's gonna be behind all of this and and how it how it all fits together um and besides that we got some more politics back and forth uh like um christian she it seems like she wants to take like all these people who went to study the ring she kind of wants them to go back to titan so that they aren't um in danger and yeah. some of them are, are fine with it <laughs> like yeah, they, definitely. They're, they're definitely fine with not being a part of this first contact thing but anna she really wants to be a part of it and i'm like fuck yeah. that's gonna bite her in the ass so now we're gonna have um uh, an earth ship mm. and we're gonna have um we're gonna have a um a belter ship, a belter ship. The and biggest. <laughs> that uh shushin that was a martian ship that was a martian ship so we're gonna have all three factions in the ring as well and yes once again rosinante is the eight percent of this clusterfuck yeah 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 so yeah everybody's going for the rosinante but and you're saying something interesting there like we're getting all everybody through the ring pretty much so if the ring closes they're all stuck there but we got all the players, like the really important, except for you know the people we know on Earth, like Christian. She's still, she's not there. No. Yeah, that that could yeah. develop into an interesting uh, and, um, situation. Naomi, she's back 
to yeah. going with the Rossinante. She's going back and, to the Rossi, yeah. And of course, we know that it calms her down. So, and she's a mechanic, so she can hopefully get the comms back up. Yeah, yeah, they, they and really then they can help. establish an uplink with everyone around her, especially Holden, maybe, and figure out what's going on with him inside the nucleus or on the nucleus. We don't know if it's like hollow, if there's something inside, or if it's just. He like talked a- about it like it was a station. Like, yeah, well, that was how Miller talked about it. So. And what's on the station? Oh, maybe it's Eros. Like, maybe it's um. So we have like the core facility almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it could be, and and maybe there's still could some. Could the bubble some... be expanding? The expanse. Oh yeah. Could the bubble be expanding outwards? It it could be. Yeah, there's there's definitely like something more now that like about the title of the whole show i think we're getting into what the expanse really means um so that's damn intriguing yeah yes so the next question big question in this series is definitely what's going on on this nucleus thing and how does it play into everything else yeah yeah so far? yep yep yeah. and uh i am dead certain that we're gonna find out because we got uh four episodes left of this season oh wait 10 11 12 13 yes we got four episodes left um of season three so yeah. it's it's only gonna get more and more exciting from mm-hmm. here on i'm i'm sure um do you have anything more you want to add to this discussion no, i no? think we covered it. we covered pretty much all mm-hmm. of it yep and if we forgot something we'll cover it in in the next one um but that's gonna do it for our reaction and review of the expanse season three episode nine as always thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you as soon as possible bye bye